So I'm going to introduce adding uh, custom graphics uh, for this. So, so far, everyone knows how to add a graphic. For example, I've got my Mario sprite, and if I want to load a sprite, I can go to um, my sprites that I have, and I've got a picture of uh, Mario here uh, standing to the right. And I could use this, I could edit the sprite. I don't like this. Um, the size and shape of this is a little uh, bigger. So it does it won't fit exactly into my game, but I'll make it fit. Um, if I would like, I could transform and stretch this object and tell it to force it into a 16 uh, pixels and we can make it by 32 uh, pixels and we can look at a preview and there's uh, Mario. And I could of course add some transparency. So that's one way. And now when I play my game, it really looks the same except my Mario now has a sprite attached to it. So here's Mar, oops except for where I placed him in the room is going to be 16 pixels lower. So he's actually going to be on the floor there. So I need to select Mario and uh, put him up a little bit. So you can see here, he's standing above this last grid here. And this should make uh, Mario now uh, is running, so it looks a lot better. So that's one way that you can add graphics. Now, the only thing is it's gonna be kind of odd that Mario is constantly gonna be running and we'll fix uh, that as well. Um, but for now, you can see, yep, we could have Mario uh, just constantly running around the screen like so. Okay. Um, I'll leave that for now and uh, later on I'll, I'll, we'll get into how we can Mario uh, adjust for when you press left, right, up and down. And we did that in the maze game. Uh, so go back to reviewing what we did in the maze game in that tutorial and you can see how we can change sprites and we'll do something similar to that. But I'll get to that at a later lesson. What I really want to show you, which is quite interesting, is using a tile set. So this is something new that we haven't done before and it's going to instantly turn your game into lovely looking graphics. So first thing I need to do is I need to add a background and I'm gonna load the background uh, that is in the um, folder uh, that you copied called Mario Sounds, which has the Mario left and right and it's called a tile set. So it says tileset.bmp. And it's a tile set that was developed um, and drawn by someone for uh, making Mario type games. And you'll see there's the mushroom, the key, the stars, all sorts of different things. So I'm gonna call this tile set. And there's a checkbox here. It is very important that I put a checkbox here where it says use as a tile set. So I'm going to put a check mark and say, yep, use it as a tile set. And then I need to make the properties of the tile set so all the tiles fit in here. And if you look at the tile set closely, um, and by that I mean put your eye close to the screen, you can see there's a little tiny one pixel gap to the left and right all around each tile. So when I go use as tile set, I'm going to tell it there's a separation of one pixel uh, horizontally and one pixel vertically. And now you'll see all the tiles will fit perfectly into this tile set. So how do I use a tile set? Well, really it's very easy. In the room, I just go to uh, um, tiles. So I click on the tab that says tiles and I select tile set and then I select the tile I want so for example, if I wanted to draw some uh, uh, bricks here, I could draw uh, some bricks. Um, so if I click in here, you'll see there's some bricks are drawn. Now, what I really want to do is I want to put the tiles um, on top of my wall parts. 
Hmm. So how am I going to do that? Well, what I want to do, if I click on top of it, you don't see it. <coughs> Excuse me. Because the wall has a sprite already. So what I need to do is I'll go to the sprite for the wall and I'm going to make it transparent. And now you'll see the wall still exists, but I can put where the wall existed, I can put in the um, tiles that I want. So for example, if I want this to be grass here for Mario to be on top of, uh, you'll see there's grass. Now, let me press play, even though I haven't put all the tiles in, and you'll see tiles are just pictures. And if I put tiles, and I should have actually put some tiles that would block him, um, you'll see he doesn't fall. This is not, and it's not because the tile, like if I go over here where there's no tile, it's, he doesn't fall because of, we did the code for the wall. So the tile has nothing to do, it just draws on top of the wall. But the wall still exists, it just, as you remember, it's invisible. So we put the tiles on top. So what we need to do, um, so for example, let me show you what I, I meant to do here. I'm gonna put a whole pile of bricks here and you're gonna see Mario can go on top of the bricks there because it's a tile set. Tile sets are not objects. They're just merely pictures that I'm adding um, to the screen. So you can see I can go right through the wall here and I'm on top of the wall, but there, there, it really is not a wall anyhow. It's just simply a, a picture. So um, in tile set mode, I'm just painting the tiles. It's, it's, they're called tiles because I'm painting these tiles. So what I need to do is uh, in design phase, what I do is I take the wall sprite, which is invisible, and I edit the wall by, um, usually I'll take a little line, maybe a little red line I'll draw here. So I'll draw a little red line so I can see that there exists something uh, here. And so now you'll see there's all the tiles that I have for walls and they have little lines now. So I made the sprites so it's not quite invisible. So now what I can do is I can go back to my tile set and for example, for these things, I can put these as bricks I, because I know they're solid. So when he lands on it, it'll be solid. And so I can go and I can do that. I can make these solid like so, oops, not there. And I can make this wall um, I could use the side if I want to paint all this with this. And I can just paint uh, like so. And then I can paint the inside ones here like so. I can paint the corner one uh, would need to be a corner. Um, corner would that be would that be that corner uh, nope that corner uh, so I can paint the corner one there like that a corner one here um, corner one there uh, corner one there uh, and so forth and so now when I play the game and if I wanted I could even um, there's some other things here I could paint something that doesn't exist uh, that could be kind of fun. Uh, like I could paint a tree. So if I want to make a tree here, I can make a tree that he can walk through just by simply selecting the tree and putting a tree here. Um, but you'll see quite quickly, um, it can make your game all of a sudden come much more alive and look much more Mario-like because um, the game now has some really good graphics that didn't take that long. Oh, the last thing I would do is when I finally have finished it, so you can see the tree I go through, uh, what I would finally do is when I'm done, I would get rid of the wall sprite, I would edit the wall sprite, and I would edit the sprite back to being um, solid uh, gray. So I would get rid of, oops. Uh, 
uh, I would get rid of all the red there. So I would make it uh, completely transparent again. And now you'll see my room looks much better. Uh, the other thing I would do in the tile set, by the way, uh, we can set the green to being transparent uh, as well. So you don't see the little green uh, specks uh, that go through. And now it looks much better. When I hit play, now this is the way my game appears, which is much better. It appears like this and looks quite realistic. 